All right, guys. So I want to talk about Kim D a little bit. So today, Kim D, um, this evening, she had posted something on Instagram. And I'm going to tag Kim on this too, because I enjoy Kim. And, you know, there's nothing that I am saying that I ever hide from anybody. Um, I'm pretty sure by now uh, you guys can figure out that I name drop a lot of people. And like I say, my videos are never private and I don't block anyone. People might block me, but I don't block them. Okay, so Kim on Instagram, she posted a picture of her at um, Trump's Golf Resort in New Jersey. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, people were DMing me on Instagram and they were like sending me screenshots and sending me messages saying, um, did you see this? Can you believe that? And all this other stuff. Okay. So like maybe because I'm from New York City, people automatically assume that I am like very far left, but I am not. Um, I am moderate. I would say that I am definitely not right wing and I'm definitely not left wing. I am like most of America. Most of America are centrist and they are moderates. She, she like legit just posted an Instagram picture of herself at his golf resort and people were like sending me shit as if like they expected me to like start freaking calling her out or protesting or some shit like that. You guys are never going to see me with the hashtag defund the police. Like legit, if you guys haven't listened to me on my podcast, I name drop on my podcast just as much as I do on my videos. My brother is an NYPD lieutenant. You are never going to see me with that hashtag. It's kind of like the same thing with uh, Kim D. So again, you know, I, I don't know why people were DMing me to like ask as if like they expected me to do something about it. I, I mean, here's what I want to say about Kim D. My interactions with Kim D has been nothing but positive. She was very nice. By the way, I, I want to like kind of debunk this assumption <laughs> that people were asking me. People were asking me if I didn't go on her podcast because of her being a Trump supporter. I had no idea who she supports or doesn't support. I don't know which way she votes or doesn't vote, okay? That had nothing to do with it. What I'm telling you is legit. Um, I said, sure, um, but then I said, you know, I want to put my shit out first. After I finish with my shit, I'll get back to you. It has nothing to do with that because this was last week. I actually ended up speaking with her on Wednesday and we were on the phone for over an hour and a half. And, you know, after I got off the phone, I was like, damn, I feel really bad because I could have just like recorded with her. I did not realize that we would be on the phone for so long and I felt bad. Shit, I should have asked her if it was okay for me just to record this phone conversation and put it up as a podcast episode. Or it, like, and that was the thing. When I had um on Wednesday, I had uh I had messaged her on DM and I said, Hey, are you available? I want to ask you something. I was expecting it to be like a two-minute, three-minute phone call. We ended up speaking on the phone for an hour and a half. So what I want to say is I don't fucking know Kim D from a hole in the wall, but my interactions with her, she seems very nice. She seems very credible. The things that she was telling me, I believe her. And at no point, people were also telling me like, you know, she's trying to get in good with Teresa. She's trying to do this. She's trying to do that. What I want to say is that at no point did she ever try to represent her relationship, her current relationship with Teresa as if that's my best friend and we're butt buddies. No, At no point did she ever try to make it seem like that. She did tell me that Teresa took her out to lunch um, on Monday for her birthday, for her birthday celebration. And, you know, but it, it was never like, oh, oh my goodness, me and Teresa, we're best friends. We're going to have sleepover parties. So, this idea that people are trying to convince me that like somehow um, Kim is doing everything because she's trying to get on to the show. She's trying to be 
a friend of Teresa so she could get onto the show, whatever the fuck. Look, whether she's trying to get on the show or not, like, I don't care. People act as if like somehow getting onto the show is like a bad thing. That is one thing that I will say about Danielle Cabral. I don't understand why everybody is like, oh my gosh, she's so thirsty. She's so thirsty. And like, People were making fun of her because, like, uh, she made some video about, like, you know, she finally bought her first Louis bag. Most of you motherfuckers can't even afford a Michael Kors bag. Like, forget about a Louis bag. You guys can't even afford a Michael Kors bag. So it's like, I don't understand when people think that they're making insults like that. And it's like, but you're so hypocritical. And that was another thing. Okay, so... That whole thirsty thing, you know, like, oh my God, Kim D so thirsty. She's so this, she's so that. Look, I feel like people try to make being thirsty as if, as if it's a bad thing, right? Like to me, thirsty is like if you are so desperate, but I don't feel like somebody who is motivated and has a goal as thirsty. So if Kim D's goal is to get onto the show as a friend of or whatever, that does to me that doesn't make her thirsty, that makes her motivated.